Hi, everybody. Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days in five minutes. Tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show, we're going to talk about this rather chilly pattern that is set up for the beginning of June in the east, not just in the northeast, but uh, in the eastern part of the United States. You have some pockets of severe weather as well. So we'll dig all into that in the long range. And that's tonight at 735 p.m. on my YouTube channel. Weather in Five is brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon. Mulch, topsoil, sand, and anything else you need, get the truck over to Omni and load it up. 631-756-1125 for the best prices in town. OmniTrueValue.com, the website. Tempest by Weatherflow. Get the revolutionary Tempest weather system. Join the fastest growing observing weather network on the planet. Uh, the link is on the description to this video and use the coupon code Joe and Joe Weather Show and you get it 10% off whatever you purchase. So uh, when you're in a cold air mass in the winter time, uh, it's it's a little different than when you're in, in, in it at this time of year. The strong sun does help to bring temperatures up. So the question really becomes, uh, you know, do you have enough sunshine? And you can see that the impact of that with in southern New England, southeastern New England in particular, where temperatures are only going to be in the upper 50s and lower 60s. But once you start heading further to the west, we're in areas where there is going to be enough sun this afternoon, we should see temperatures reaching the middle and upper 70s. We're at the time of year where we should start cracking the 80 degree mark or getting into the low 80s almost on a regular basis. And of course, the nights have been very chilly with readings down in the 40s, uh, except in the warmer urban areas, uh, bottoming out uh, in the low 50s. Those are going to come up a little bit uh, for tonight into tomorrow morning because we do have another little cold front that's going to be coming on through. Check out the surface map. Low pressure, not particularly strong, but there is a low that's sitting southeast of uh, of Maine and east of Cape Cod, and uh, there is uh, and that's just sitting there and it's not moving. So uh, it's going to be there uh, and eventually move its way northward, then kind of rotate uh, in uh, uh, Atlantic Canada uh, for the latter part of this week. And while it's doing that rotation, it's pulling down. Uh, another shot of cool air and you see this weather front uh, that runs uh, through Quebec and Ontario province and into the northern Great Lakes. There's another chilly high to the north of that. Well, some of that cool air will start coming back in for the middle part of the week. So tomorrow, when an upper trough and this front approach, we're likely to see uh, maybe some clouds with that later in the day. And there might even be a scattered shower or thunderstorm. But uh, the bottom line is for much of for this week and going into this weekend, uh, there's going to be little, if any, rain. And even with that risk of a scattered shower or a thunderstorm tomorrow, the vast majority of folks will not see it. And uh, you see on the satellite, the cloud line is a little further east today, but it is clipping the eastern half of Long Island with some patchy clouds, a heavier overcast uh, when you move up. Uh, into southeastern Massachusetts and then head up into Maine where it's a heavy overcast and you're getting some rain. And then you see the northwest flow behind the upper air feature pulling down some clouds in western New York and western Pennsylvania. Uh, it's there where we might even see some scattered sh showers or thunderstorms uh, develop uh, today. But we're in the clear here in eastern Pennsylvania and to southern New England with regards to precip. And that dry air, that nice air goes all the way down through the southeast and into the Gulf states. It's uh, pretty delightful. Uh, below normal temperatures even here, although areas are going to get up into the 80s. Uh, we're seeing some moisture in the western plains and on up into parts of the west. And this is going to produce... Uh, perhaps some pockets of thunderstorms and severe weather, although severe weather for the next several days is going to be uh, more, along, more along the lines of being isolated, nothing widespread. You've got rain in Maine uh, down into northeastern Massachusetts moving southward. So I think uh, southeastern Massachusetts and the islands will probably get some rain or showers this afternoon. But you see the radars are clear to the west of that. Uh, into New York State, down through New Jersey, and up and down the eastern seaboard, really, there's hardly anything going on. You've got some scattered areas of showers uh, in uh, parts of Texas and on up into uh, Colorado, also seeing a little bit of scattered activity up in the northwestern part of the U.S. And that's where you see these small areas of marginal risk for severe weather today. There's four of them. 
northeast Georgia to western North Carolina, southernmost Texas, western Montana, a small piece there of central Idaho, and in the Sierra Nevadas in California. And as I said, for the next couple of days, it's pretty much the same thing here, just small areas of severe weather uh, indicated across parts of the south uh, and into the western plains and then on up into the Pacific West, and not a whole lot much happening in the east. Just go back to for tomorrow. You see there's a general area of thunderstorms being indicated for central and southern New England, New York State, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, down into Delaware, Maryland, and Virginia. But I tend to think that any showers and storms will be scattered in nature. And as far as rainfall is concerned, the light green coloring is... Uh, one one hundredth to a tenth of an inch, so minimal amounts of rain uh, that are, that's forecast uh, for most of the southern areas of the northeast down into the mid-Atlantic states. It picks up a little in South Florida, three quarters of an inch to an inch and a half over the next week. And then across the Mississippi Valley, uh, through the southern and central plains, and then on up into the northern Rockies and into the parts of the Pacific West, where we could see uh, three quarters of an inch to some places as much as an inch and a half. So here's what the upper air looks like. Split flow, bit of a Rex block. Closed upper high over Lake Winnipeg that's separating everything. And we've got a cutoff low that's off the east coast. Uh, as you see as we go through the week, it just sort of lifts up north of Nova Scotia and then just sits there. So we've got this cold uh, flow, cold for this time of year anyway, uh, right through Friday and then even into the weekend. And then another short wave is going to approach uh, maybe a chance that we could see some showers and thunderstorms late Sunday, Sunday night into Monday. The bottom of that trough wants to cut off in the mid-Atlantic states next week. So maybe we'll have some better chances for rain uh, going forward uh, in the longer range. And as far as the short range is concerned, as we take a look here uh, on the surface, uh, you see that back edge of the rain in eastern New England just starts to pull out to the east later this afternoon. Well, we've got mostly nice weather today. As we said, where there's plenty of sunshine, temperatures will be in the mid to maybe even the upper 70s. We might crack the 80 degree mark tomorrow. Upper trough and a weak cold front comes through with some scattered showers and thunder tomorrow evening. Then uh, back to dry and cool air for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and a little instability in areas inland. And here comes that next cold front, maybe for late Sunday into Sunday night, early Monday. We could see some showers or a thunderstorm or two when that front goes by. And then there's another cool high behind that one. So uh, it's a, uh, a pattern that if you were a winter weather lover, You'd want to see this in the dead of January or February, and you didn't get to see it then, but you save, you see it now. So you save on AC bills. Let's let's look at it. Uh, for snow lovers, you can look at it that way. And I know there's sort of a mix. Some people like cool weather. Some people like it very warm. Uh, right now, uh, the folks that like it cool are winning out. So we'll see you tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show. That's at 7.35 p.m. Have a great day and a great week.